Hey what's going on, my name is Quinn and today we're going to be transforming this guy into his shock mouth. If you are somehow lost and you want to go back to the actual review of this guy, make sure to click the link in the description down below. So without any further ado, let's transform this guy into his shock mode. So the first thing that you are going to do is go into the back over here. So in an ideal world, you want this to be stay on over here, but yes, there we go. It's, it's easily removable on this, on, uh, on this release. So you can, what you want to do is you want to snap this guy together. So what I recommend is just like use this part to flex it inwards and then make it around like so, so you don't actually break the plastic, so kind of like just kind of flex it. In an ideal world, you want this to be snapped on, but we're just going to take this off for now to make it a little bit easier. Now for the weapon, so this is the weapon that was included. Now you want this to be snapped off and then put this out to the side and we'll use it back again in the truck mode. Now, transforming here is this guy. So there's this part, snap this together in, and then this shoulder part needs to be over here it's done and then take the chest part over here check the chest pieces and then just rotate around like so and then the arms you want to just straighten them out and then line it up with the windshield over here rotate around and then just slap line it in and it should look like this do the same thing on the other side so we're just gonna line them up and we're just gonna go, go back over here now, we don't want to snap anything just yet yeah, because we need to finish on this stuff side over here. Once you get all this part, you get to want to take a look at this. So if you can see, right, so if you can see the mushroom pack is a bit rotating downwards, so you just want to, ex you want to extend it like so, so it's now nice and flush, lined up nice nicely, and the head you want to move it to the front. Now this is one of the most interesting part. So you want to take this hinge off, as you can see, so it comes up on the side cast piece. Now, in an ideal world, again, you want this to rotate 180 degrees. But, but since this is a, but this guy has some trouble issues, so it comes off. Uh, so it comes off too easily. But it's okay. I mean, in an ideal world, you want this rotate 180 degrees. That's so that's that, that's just a bit. So we want to do 180 degrees to the side, but I'm just gonna take it off. And just snap back. In just like so yeah so there we go now it's been rotated next what you want to go and do is snap the hands together as you can see there's a tab over there and there's a slot to go through you want to snap that in like so and it should look like this I want to take the hood off the roof of it this thing and just take this off make sure the head are nice and down and you want to take this and just slide it in like so and for the hands now in the in the top of the roof over here there is a little peg over there so you want to just put the hand from there into just plug it to the hand and it should snap snap in nicely there we go it should snap in nicely once that's done we want to go to the run over here with the windshield and then just take this piece out rotate around and you want to snap this piece over here, there's a peg over it. There's a snap over there, and there's a slot on the front of here. Let me just give it a focus. There's a slot over there. If you want to slot that in, so I want you may make sure on both sides need to be slotted. I'm gonna take this outside a little bit. So I want this to be slotted on. So I, want, I recommend hold this piece also as well together, and just once that's done, you want to snap this into the slot over there. There's a slot over there. You can just tapped in and it should fit up there nicely so for the legs you want to rotate around just like this and then flip it and then flip it flip it up just like so and sometimes the ball joint is snapped off on my copy so you can just snap it back on like so as you can see snap that back on and then flip up this top part now this part and this is the front part of the here which is the feet now the, as you can see there is a little slipper over here then you can just take that off and then rotate this feet 180 degrees so the wheels should be on the other side and then once that's done you want to rotate the feet up to, to down like that like so and i want to rotate this camera because it's so easy on, to take a look easy on camera now you want to insert this feet down into this slot over here into that insert area so just swiggle it around swivel it down and there's a slot 
over there. Let me just take a look at the zoom. There's a slot over here. As you can see, there's a slot and there's a tab on top. So you just want to tap this together. Once that's done, then it should look like this. Dude, and then you should do the same thing on the other side. Once you complete the both legs, you want to adjust it. And on this part, there is a little tap and you can slide that notch into that piece of this. Let me just take a look. There's a slot over there. So you just want to it together for the bottom part and then there's a tap on top of here also as well. And you can slap into the other side. So you can just snap that together. And it should form to be look a little bit. It should be look a little bit like this. Once you have this abomination, now you want just want to take this back like so and you want to make sure all of these on the top part is lined up perfectly before we plug in everything together like so and then just rotate this like dust over here and there is a slot and there's a tap on this part and then there is a a tap on top over here that we can slot into there so just keep in mind on that and you want to make sure this part doesn't fold inwards while tabbing everything up So it should do a little bit nicer. This is one of the most trick this is one of the more tricky parts of the transformation. There we go, just a little bit more. There you go. It should look a little bit like this. It just lined up really, really nicely. Like so. Now, we're almost done with this transformation. Take this sword piece that I mentioned earlier and just plug into the side so the ones that have this one over here plug into that side all over there so this one that means it's on the other side over here and there's a tab on each of the swords that you can plug in on the, the slot down there so just keep an eye on that so just make sure that this piece goes to the front to the front side so just slide that in and then just snap it together and do the same thing on the other side and there you go. That is the Bioway Super. Oh yeah, so the front of the front with the uh, the mirrors, the mirror measure, the the mirrors are uh, full up up front. And there you go. That is the Bioway Supreme Leader trans fully transformed up into his Rosenbauer fire truck. And this thing looks amazing. So I think that is going to be the transformation tutorial. If you guys do want to take a look at the review of this game, make sure to leave a link. In, just go to the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.